Alright, so I actually... I have the headphones actually on. I actually am going to try and do... It's pretty late, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do... Finish this ancient armory quest. But, before I do that, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I quick saved. I meant to talk to this guy. Talk to the merchant. Um, we're going to sell resources. And we're going to sell as much as we can of stuff we don't need. So... So yeah, a lot of like basic stuff. So first of all, I have some stuff that is just for trading with merchants. I'm not sure. So that's that. That's good enough. Now, um, the quest is that way. Or that way. in this hole here. I believe. one all, all right now up. now to get the dials in position they must these numbers they must be related to segments of a circle where the numbers okay I got I can't really see the numbers though that's the problem 90. 270 Is it 450 and 630? Great. So 5 I read it correctly, That's that's ninety. Okay, two seventy. 
so. 90. 180. I think that's 270. So, 90, 180, I guess that's 270, that's 360, is that 450 right there, and then 630. One, okay, no. This is 360, so this is supposed to be... And this... 90... See what we can do with this material. All right. Should we box? Outfit. Shield weave armor. Nothing else in here, right? All right. other things we're gonna save now finally got that armor
crafting. Modify weapon. Modify outfits. Okay. I don't really need to modify the hell out of too many outfits now, because I'm probably I don't think I'm ever taking that out armor off. Um, data point. What did I? I got a new data point somewhere. Alright. Alright, Shield Weaver, Weaver outfit doesn't take mods. Okay, I didn't know that. And skill quest. Now, we're doing Into the Frozen Wilds. So we're basically going to start the Frozen Wilds quest. I want to get into a fight and test out that armor, but... I have a feeling that's not going to be too hard once I start the Frozen Wilds. Alright, let's take a quick uh, save. Yes, indeed. some stuff. Right, it's telling me to go this way. So let's. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible like thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as you know, you do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. That way, huh? Oh, 
I'm not sure if I'm going the wrong direction or what, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay, I got a thing over there. This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming off it. Shock. All right, so what we're looking at is no weaknesses and only strengths. And I don't know if I can take them, but I'm gonna find out. Really? You're gonna run away like that? Keep quiet now. Gotcha. That was a pretty tough fight. Cool. I like that. Now I got a bind of treasure box, so let's go into inventory. Those are Okay, cool. Four new machines. 
and one looks like a type of corrupted. Oh, demonic machines. Scorcher. Oh, he's weak to freeze. He's weak to fire. Well, the blaze canister is weak to fire. His body's weak to freeze. All right, cool. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me. Okay, that that scared the heck out of me. That that little swirly wind thingy looked like uh, I thought that was a uh, or what do you call them? The the invisible guys. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Look at that. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? Wow. That's rough. Tell me that way. Tell me fire is that way. Fire is in save point. It's a big ass village. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. The carja. Like the glowy stuff. But with my new armor, I am glowy stuff. Back out for a second. I'm gonna save. Okay. I thought I was rotating more saves than that. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burned their dead, but not today. Yeah. 
Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor what? necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burned their dead. But not today. Please tell me I'm not stuck in a loop. I'm gonna watch this one more time. The bodies can be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. If it loops again, I'm gonna get out of here. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Let's just hope it doesn't loop again. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears, striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! Ew. We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh, 
Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Hmm. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aurea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Okay. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled yeah. with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. <laughs> but when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time, to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. <laughs> Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her, and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, what's a Warwick? What are these Warwicks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warwicks come and go. Some... Last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warwicks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Okay, what about you, dude? What's you up to? You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Aurea. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banuk are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Okay, who's we? We? Me and my daughter. My assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. 
Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. We're both women. I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's mm. something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river. Chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. No, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our tongue can end in life. Or Thunderstorm likes to step into the foot. Maybe with the shots in March before you. I've no interest in the present tonic. Living machines are what's important to the hunt. Okay, I got a quest marker over here. Deep in. Silence by rising waters. This old underestimates the book. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was until it disappeared under the waters. Deep in. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Okay, musical instrument. So Deep Din is a place. And a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? Okay, sudden deluge. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. All right. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Okay. Waterlogged. Let's go. Look at the quest. Waterlogged is a level 30. Shaman's Path is a level 30. Main is level 34. So, I'm going to keep going with Shaman's Path. Especially since I'm closest to it. But I have a... A Bannock Trader. Bannock Trader over here. Ooh, okay. So he's gotten these stuff. Um, first of all, let's see if he's got a treasure box. He does. Okay. By these. All 
I think I need any new outfits. Come back for these when I get them. And what's uh, what's in my treasure treasure box? Okay. Water laughing on the old stone. That's a sound to sleep to, not live to. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Orea knows about this Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Okay. There are other Werax in Song's Edge too? Yes. The village has its own life for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite. Quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Okay. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. Okay, and? You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Shall we fear the new machines? Or shall Let me go do some deeds then. Oh, I got a new quest marker. Where? The life has left the tall mecca. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Araya. To do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. What's going on with that water over there? Wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? 
It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. I will do. Keep it charred. Well, I gotta be honest with you. That's um because I think that's the the quest which teaches you how to uh, modify your spear. I want that, but that's far. It's a far quest. That's a very far quest. Look at that. All right. So I'm just going to go quests and All right, so I'm going to go there first cuz it's on the way. So Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watching. Got some fire. Carja outriders. What are Carja doing out here? Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Tough, but I'm used to it. Tall neck that way. I'll do the tall neck second. What the hell was that? I don't know what that is. That must be an Atuk, looking out at that. Oh. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. 
to stop it spreading if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Okay, dialogue. Uh... Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Okay, uh... Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Yes, I do. I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Why don't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is.
have killed the machine. Now where's this freaking override tower, first of all? Me chewing. Got a little hungry. I overrode the override tower. You are like the warrior. Where's do that? All right, let's go. Talk to you. Yes, we should. Don't tell me what I want to know now. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains. The ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Okay. Right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Oh, there's a few things I'm gonna do. Did I just hear a bath? Uh, quests. Well, I really want to do water law. Uh, I really want to do secret shard, but I also need to do the tall neck. this for later. I'm taking that damn goat skin. Whatever I can uncraft to get rid to do it.
Ooh, okay. Atomic? What did it take to knock one of those over? They're built to last. Come this way.
What? Deep the damage goes. <laughs> ah, damn it. Crap. Crap and crap all. Where do I need to go? having a great time doing this. <laughs> ah, come on. Really? I'm just having the worst time with this. Marcus might see something here. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even get it. Get it what's inside its head. Alright. Now the thing is, I'm near the end of this mission. I mean, I'm near the end of this playthrough. Let go, lady, we're going down. Keep it coming.
get it while I can. coming. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me. Dropped it! 
right? One more piece to go. And I'm gonna guess it's a Glen Hawk guy. Okay. No, it looks like it's a... Uh... I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a Glen Hawk. It's gonna be something here, yeah. This will help.
Well, that fits. Sure hope it works. in better shape than it was. Well, no. able to jump onto the tall neck from here. I'm 
るよな、はい、I wonder does she suffer like that if I put on the cold outfit Cold. These are some frost people. Some frosty people. That's all, buddy. Climb up to its head. The tall neck of frost figures. Okay, and now the quest I'm going to go on is. A secret shared, which is that away. I am. Oh, there's the next part of the next quest. Waterlogged is there. So since Waterlogged is closer, the quest I'm gonna go on is Waterlogged. That said, the quest I'm going on. I'm gonna go till I get to the next save point. I didn't want the rock, but whatever, I got it. 
I got. Oh, he ran away. I heard what I did to his friends. I hear heavy stepping. Is that the tall neck or is that something else? That's the tall neck, okay. That's where I fought all those enemies and took out that tower. I do think there is a road going down. Apparently, there is. I heard a sheep. These will keep. Got to get up that hill. Oh crap! Ice crocodiles. Cause that's a thing now. Oh crap. More than one ice crocodile. Crocodiles.
be the ruin Lyle was talking about. Peeped in. Flooded too, like she said. guy out and then I'm gonna see if I can save. That's it. Must be the entrance to this den. Going for a little bit. 
Okay, so I can scrap something. Game save coming up. Probably right over here. I gotta read. Ugh. Okay. Singapore! As the water recedes, the people return. Singapore, May 5th, 2043. A large pink tinted rock marks the summit of Bucket Tamak Hill. Singapore's highest point at one time, 164 meters above sea level. Charmaine, Charmaine Lowe records a self holo next to the rock, her bright smile contradicted by nervous fidgeting with her prismatic fake nails and 30 style subdermal jewelry. I don't, well, okay, whatever. I thought I'd never see this place again. Still can't believe it's real, she marvels. Proud Bucket Tima has stood firm against time and weather, but the rest of Singapore has fared less well, with approximately a third of the island nation at, at less than five meters above sea level. Singapore, Singaporeans like Charmaine were forced to abandon their homes as inexorable waters leached away their foundations throughout the snoring 20s. Now, the surviving members of Charmaine's family are returning alongside many others. A global temperatures, as global temperatures and sea levels stabilize, people come by air or water. Some seek refuge from the deteriorous effects of the Shitaram River tragedy, whose costs still reverberate today. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of a once stable and prosperous country. Singapore represents one of many states abandoned by their citizens in the aftermath of heavy coastal flooding. Questions surrounding ownership are difficult to answer. Government and law enforcement personnel fled far in advance of the country's devastation and documentation of title is scattered at best. The plot of land on which Charmaine's childhood home once sat had belonged to the Lowe family for almost data corrupted. Okay. What else? There's another data point somewhere in here that I didn't click off. That one. Okay. Where my campfire at? These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Is that a merchant? Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm gonna save here. And I will continue on and find out what happened to this flooded village, but that's gonna be a story.